All right, everybody, thank you all so much for being here. We are currently at the Ohio Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you all so much for attending. Uh, we have some amazing institutions currently uh, that will be presenting and giving uh, themselves a few minutes of time to get to know uh, them as an institution. So with that said, I do have a few uh, housekeeping items at this point in time um, to uh, share with you all. So a couple different things. You're gonna have a lot of questions for these institutions, right? So how do you ask them? You're going to ask them down in the Q&A button. There's a Q&A that you will actually type in your questions and you can ask them uh, things at any point in time. Please do not wait until the very last minute at the end of the session. It is only a 45 minute session and we have a lot to cover. We will not be having a live Q&A um, at the very end of the session. So all of your questions will have to be typed in the Q&A down at the bottom. Uh, also, please make sure to put the title of the institution that you're asking the question for within your typed question, just so we know who the question goes to. They will then type their answers and you will see it in that Q&A. Your chat is disabled, uh, and so is also your audio and video. The panelists cannot see or hear you, but periodically check the chat because they'll be putting their contact information as well as some links to check out throughout the presentation. Also, uh, sign up for more sessions. There may not be uh, college presentations offered necessarily this evening anymore, but we will have some more Ohio Association for College Admission Counseling panels in two weeks that you can sign up for at strivescan.com backslash Ohio. Last but not least, a recording will be available of this session in about a week, and it'll be uh, at the same place that you registered, the same place that you registered for. Uh, all sessions are recorded, so you can always check those out at that time as well. With that said, uh, we have our first institution. Uh, that institution is Ashland University. Hi everyone, my name is Cheryl Logan. I'm the Associate Director of Admissions at Ashland University and I'm excited to share a little bit more about the university with you today. When you're looking for a small private institution, Ashland could be that potential home for you. We are located in Ashland, Ohio, which is Northeast, North Central Ohio route, but about an hour from Cleveland, Akron, Columbus. So it's easily accessible to a lot of the major cities in Ohio. But when you're looking, on that small side of things, we have about 2,100 undergraduates on campus and 18 to 22 in the average classroom size. Accent on the individual is one of our core values. We pride ourselves on this. Um, I'm a two-time grad from the university, so I can tell you that your faculty members do in fact get to know who you are inside of the classroom as well as outside of the classroom. That's beneficial to you because you'll have the opportunity to build that relationship with them so they can one day be a letter of recommendation for you, a possible reference call, or even tell you about a job opportunity or an internship opportunity that you are unaware of. Um, we do put you in your major first semester of your first year. So that also gives you the time to build that relationship over the four to five year time frame that you're at Ashland. Now, although the class sizes are 18 to 22 students, it doesn't mean that you won't see seven students in a class or 60 students in a class, but knowing that 60 is our largest lecture that we have, so still very individualized in that sense. When you're looking at the number of majors we have, there are about 60 of them. We have four different colleges, so the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Nursing is our largest program on campus. Then we get into the College of Education, where primary education, specifically PK through five, is our second largest program. Then you go into the College of Business and Economics where we have 14 different business programs to choose from. And then last but not least is the College of Arts and Sciences. Um, it is the largest by major. So a lot of our majors are housed within that specific college, but we break it down into arts and humanities, natural sciences, social sciences. So there's a little bit of everything that you can get involved with. In each major, we're known for hands-on experiential learning. So whether your major is required not major, I apologize, whether an internship is required or highly encouraged, we want you to take the skills that we teach you in the classroom and put them to use in the real world. We have full-time internship advisors to help you find placement, as well as field experience coordinators, student internships, whatever it might be, you have somebody on campus in a specific office to help you find that internship, to take part in research to really help build your resume over the four to five year time frame that you're at Ashland University. So 
when you look at those large majors, as I mentioned, with the nursing and the education, and then we branch down into exercise science and biology, those are very big programs at the moment. Criminal justice is a growing program at our institution. But just knowing that you can get involved in a lot of different aspects within each major. So whether or not you want to double major, some of our programs require a minor. Um, you can have multiple minors. I supervise our tour guides here on campus, and some of them will have three different majors. Now, granted, they might all be within the communication studies, but really being able to take advantage of that side of things is going to be something that will accent your experience while you're on our campus. So outside of the academic realm, we do have over 130 clubs and activities that you can get involved in. It could be academic based. So maybe you're the president of the exercise science club, but then we take it a little further into leadership opportunities, community service, um, fraternity and sorority life, club sports, intramural sports, you name it, chances are we have it. And the good thing about our clubs and organizations, and you might hear this from other institutions, if there's something that you're really passionate about, but we don't have a club for that, all you have to do is find other students who are passionate about it, get a faculty advisor, and that's a club or organization that we'd be able to add to the list of clubs and organizations that we do offer. So being able to get involved in that sense. Um, you'll, if you ever visit campus, we highly encourage you to visit campus. Um, that's one of the biggest factors in a student's decision on where they want to attend. But you'll see our recreation center, you'll see our student center, academic buildings, our residence halls. But in the recreation center specifically, that's where all of your sport clubs and intramural clubs are gonna happen. And then when you get into the athletic side of things, we are a division two institution. Um, we have 24 varsity sports that whether or not you're interested in participating or you just want to cheer on your classmates, you get into all of our athletic events for free. We've done a lot of renovations over the past few years, so we have phenomenal facilities for our athletic programs, as well as many of our academic buildings have been updated over the years. So you're coming in and you're sitting in classrooms that look nice. And while you might be thinking like that sounds silly, it's going to be a big part of coming in and knowing that 80% of your faculty members hold PhDs um, and you're only taught by faculty members. It's never a graduate assistant or a teaching assistant. And many of them take sabbatical or time off during their time teaching so they can go out and stay current in the research and be able to bring that back to you. So being able to do faculty research with them is going to, again, be something that builds your resume. So Outside of the things to do on campus, the athletic side of it, um, residence halls, I've got 20 seconds left. Um, cost to attend is a big part of that. Right now for our fall students, $35,020 $20, tuition, room, board, and fees. So a little bit of everything's added in there and we offer merit awards from 1,000 to 11,500 and I will put the apply link in the chat box. Thank you guys. Awesome. Thank you so much, Cheryl. If you have any questions for Ashley University, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next, next, we have Lakeland Community College. Good evening, everyone. My name is Yvonne Hillier. I'm the recruitment specialist for Lakeland Community College, and I'm so excited to share with you guys more about Lakeland. So let's get started because we are on a certain time crunch. So here's some recent national rankings about Lakeland. We were ranked number two uh, community college national student completion, top five student veterans of America chapter, voted safest college campus in the nation, and recently voted number one best community college in Ohio and number 36 in the nation. So why Lakeland Community College? The biggest reasons why a lot of our students choose Lakeland is because of our quality academics, our affordable tuition, and the fact that our credits transfer. And I'll dive into all of this deeper um, in the presentation. So let's start with quality academics. We are an accredited institution through the Higher Learning Commission, which ensures the improvement in academic quality and public accountability, which allows our credits to transfer, like I mentioned, which again, I'll dive deeper um, in this presentation. We have dedicated faculty members with real world experience. Many of our faculty members work in the field that they teach, so they bring in that real world experience into the classroom teaching. We also have small classroom sizes at seven to one is a faculty staff to student ratio. So again, very small, intimate, the faculty members and staff, they know you by name, they know what your learning style is like and they can really incorporate that into their teaching style. We have flexible class schedules for our student. We have day, evening, weekend, 
online hybrid, which is half online, half in classroom, and accelerated classes offered for our students. At Lakeland, we have over 130 degree and certificate programs, and we have them broken down to three different program paths. Um, the first one is a more of a transfer program path, where we essentially prepare you. Um, you can come take your freshman, sophomore year classes at Lakeland, those prereq core classes, and then transfer to a four year college and university to graduate and get your bachelor's degree. We also have a career program path where we essentially prepare you for a career in a high demand field. If you go full time, most of our career program um, will be about two years for you to finish. You'll graduate and can start working in that field. We have several certificate programs where you can come improve your skills or get um, you know, career advancement or even get job ready, graduate with that certificate, and again, get job ready and start working in that field as well. Um, we have amazing uh, counselors who can work with you to figure out you know, what career and what program path is best suited for you. If you're coming in undecided, that's okay as well. Um, like I said, our counselors are there to help figure out which degree and certificate path is uh, best suited for you. Like I mentioned earlier, quality education for less. Our students choose Lakeland because of our affordable tuition. Lakeland's tuition is a third of the cost to most four-year colleges and universities. And you can see for yourself here, um, it's right on our website. It's called 2 plus 2 Tuition Comparison Calculator. It's a great tool to show you what a great value it is by coming to Lakeland. And I took a screenshot and I wanted to show you what that looked like. You can input your residency and up to three schools that you were looking to compare. And it'll tell you what that cost would be if you went to that specific school all four years in tuition and fees, how much it would cost if you went two years at Lakeland and then transfer to that institution to finish. So as you can see there, savings and tuition by attending Lakeland, you know, for John Care would be about 74,000, um, Kenton Bowling Green is about 12 to 13,000. And that's just in tuition, not including room and board. Again, this is on our website. You're more than welcome to utilize this two plus two tuition comparison calculator at your convenience. I mentioned earlier credits transfer. Another reason why our students choose Lakeland is because they truly save you know, thousands of dollars by taking those first two years, like I said, those prereqs, core classes, and then transferring out. We are part of the Ohio transfer module, which um, guarantees that your credits can transfer to any Ohio public four-year university or college. Uh, we actually have a whole department called the Transfer Center where they'll work with you if you have any questions about, hey, I want to go here. Can you help me figure out how to you know, transfer my credits there? And we've even worked with um, even private schools now to come up with easy transfer agreements for you. So any questions about that, please don't hesitate to contact our Transfer Center. Right across the street from Lakeland Community College, we have the Holden University Center. And um, these through these 11 partnerships there, we offer 23 bachelor programs, 21 graduate degrees and certificate programs, and one doctorate program um, on Lakeland's campus. You can take all those courses right across the street. You don't have to worry about commuting or um, moving on campus and having to pay an apartment or a dorm. I would say an average student saves about $20,000 by going this route. Um, and shout out to our partners presenting today with us, Ursuline, CSU, and Lake Erie. Um, if you have any questions, they do do an info session night once a month, or feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to get you more information on that. I also want to mention that we have a pretty active campus life. We want you guys to get involved. We have over 30 plus active clubs through SEAL, which stands for Student Engagement and Leadership. We have four sports team for the women and three for the men. We also have um, wonderful resources available for our students, all of these student services and then some are all included in your tuition. I want to highlight just a few due to time. Um, we have a student accommodation center, and that's for any of our students who have IEPs, 504s, any learning disabilities with documentations, you're more than welcome um, to come in, get an interview, and they'll get you further accommodation. So I got 20 seconds here, so let me just further through here. Um, and I wanna mention, you know, student success is super important to us. So we have free tutoring for you guys. We have um, study skills coaching, which is more one-on-one -on -one coaching for you to get you more acclimated into college life. So here are the steps for admissions. Feel free to take a picture of this since I'm short on time and I can't do step-by-step, -step, but yeah, and contact us. I'll be happy to get you guys any assistance with the enrollment process. And lastly, here is our contact information. Please take a picture. We'll be happy to reach out to you and talk to you furthermore and get you started at Lakeland. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much. And if you have any questions for Lakeland Community College, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next, we have Ursuline College. Okay, hi folks. Um, my name is Ronnie Colborn. I am the Assistant Director of Admissions at Ursuline College. I really appreciate you guys being here with me um, so that I can share a little bit more about our school. Let's get this presentation going. Uh, so if you don't know already, Ursuline is a small liberal arts college in Northeast Ohio. We're also a women's focused college, which is a little bit unique about us. And to get us started, I wanna show you this quick video uh, where you can uh, learn a little bit more about Ursuline. Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm here to tell you about Ursuline College. Ursuline is a place that helps you make your world more and has been doing that for a very long time. Here's how it's done. Here are the UC facts you need to know. Ursuline College sprawls across 60 plus acres in Pepper Pike, Ohio, and has an enrollment of 1,073 students with a student faculty ratio of eight to one. With 20 plus undergraduate programs, UC is always ready to meet the needs of today's student. Ursuline is a women's focused college, which means historically, Ursuline has supported women with a population of 90% women. With 12 NCAA Division II sports programs, Ursuline arrows soar through the GMAC conference. Campus living? Oh, we got it. Smith, Murphy, and Grace, three residence halls to call home. Not to mention, we have about a bajillion Canadian geese to make your friends. Ursuline isn't just numbers though. There is so much value behind the values. Ursuline is ranked number one as Ohio's most affordable college with such an amazing value. UC supports the number two school of nursing in the state of Ohio and is ranked 51st nationwide. With one of two accredited art therapy programs in Ohio, there is so much to offer students who want to help others. Not only that, Ursuline is home to an amazing fashion program that has access to one of the oldest costume collections in the state. Do you like food? We do! Check out Metz Dining, our nationally ranked food provider, serving up fresh, local, farm-to-table foods you will think you're eating five stars. Founded in 1871 by the Sisters of Ursuline, shout out to the Mother House, Ursuline College has had many homes before landing in Pepper Pike, Ohio, only 15 minutes outside of Center City, Cleveland. Ursuline's true home has always been Cleveland. Cleveland sits on the banks of Lake Erie and has so much to offer our students. Home to three major sports league teams, Go Browns, the second largest and most successful theater district outside of Broadway, 18 metro parks with over 100 trails to hike, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the first ever shopping mall in the United States, and so much more. So what are you waiting for? It's your turn to make your world more at Ursuline. Schedule a visit, get your application materials ready, talk to a counselor, prove to yourself that your destiny and future are in your hands. And at Ursuline, you'll be in the best hands to make your vision a reality. Okay, so um, that's a great video when you've only got a few minutes, um, but of course I want to tell you a little bit more. Um, you heard them talk, uh, you heard my colleague talk about 20 different majors that we have at Ursuline. Here I want to highlight just a few. Our most popular programs are, as you heard, our nursing program, number two in the state of Ohio. Uh, our art therapy program, one of only two art therapy programs in the state of Ohio, and our fashion design and fashion merchandising programs, both really unique programs. And we've also highlighted two of our newest programs, our exercise science program, new this year, and an engineering partnership program with University of Dayton. Um, so those are just some of our, our majors. You can look at the full list here. 
Uh, we also heard Mike talk about some of our athletics. We are NCAA Division II. Uh, and here you can see our uh, list of sports. Our athletics are all female athletics at Ursuline since it is a women's focused college. We're part of the GMAC conference. You can see uh, we have uh, 11 different sports or excuse me, 12 different sports and one non NCAA sport, which is stunt. I did not know what stunt was until it came to Ursuline this year. It's a, for those of you who also don't know, um, it's essentially a combination of um, cheerleading and gymnastics. Um, so it, it's really fun to watch. You feel like you're watching Bring It On. Finally, I wanna highlight this uh, feature that's new to Ursuline this year, which is that textbooks, the price of textbooks are included in our tuition this year. Uh, so Ursuline is a private school, which means that that price tag is a, a little bit higher than you'll see at some of our public schools. Uh, looking at next year, our tuition is around $35,000. Um, but we do have, uh, in addition to a generous aid package, um, perks like this where our textbooks, our parking are all included in those tuition dollars. Before I close out here, I wanna make sure you guys have access to our contact information, our shared admission inbox here, our phone number, our Instagram page, and our YouTube page. I'll go ahead and share a link to our application, which is completely free in our chat box. And please feel free to add any questions through our Q&A. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Ursuline College, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Cleveland State University. Hi, everybody. My name is Nick Grady, and I am with Cleveland State University's Office of Undergraduate Admissions, Assistant Director Recruitment. I want to thank everybody for being here this evening and taking some time out of your evening to learn a little bit more about some of the uh, university options and college options that we have here in Ohio. Um, so as I get started here, I wanted to show a picture of our campus. We're located right in the heart of downtown Cleveland. As you can see, our skyline is just steps away from our campus. And the pictures you see here are of, uh, are of our student center and our science building. So I have a lot of information to share with you, but I'm going to go through pretty quickly. Uh, so I recommend that you take uh, cell phone pictures of some of the slides for tuition scholarship. So, cause I'm going to breeze over those. So general information about our university, we have about 16,000 students. We have a 16 to one student to faculty ratio. We have uh, about, 175, 200 academic programs for students to choose from. And we are a residential campus. So we have two residence halls in downtown Cleveland and then off campus apartments surrounding the university to give it a, a feel of, of, of a few more residence halls as well. We're NCAA Division I and we have uh, varsity programs within that as well as a large amount of clubs, competitive and recreational. So ICSU, we talk about our motto of engaged learning. And what that means is engaged learning in and out of the classroom. We strive to make sure that our students are getting to know their faculty members, are, are pushing themselves to get co-ops and internships very early on, and to not just be students of Cleveland State, but students of the community and of Cleveland as well. So we have a footprint that expands not just on our campus, but throughout all of downtown and all of Northeast Ohio when it comes to engaged learning and getting experience outside of the classroom. I, academic reputation, we have a large amount of Fulbright scholars on our staff and faculty. We have uh, some Grammy award winners in our music department. So we have some, some really cool faculty to our name. I don't have time to go through all of those. But dynamic campus experience, we, like I said, we're right in downtown Cleveland, uh, just steps away from Playhouse Square. And we just really enjoy having our own university to ourselves, but having the city around. Value and affordability, I have a lot of information on that, but I'll get momentarily but here are some pictures just of some of the things that we have nearby world-class entertainment uh, we say the city is our campus because a lot of schools talk about downtown cleveland but our campus is downtown cleveland so over 200 campus organizations to get involved in um, and our students definitely take advantage of that when it comes to value and affordability lowest one of the lowest tuition rates in ohio um, when we have what's called the csu guarantee which is a promise that our tuition is not going to go up for incoming students for the semesters that it takes for you to complete your, your four years um, semester by semester by semester. So your tuition is guaranteed and locked in when you start and you have your eight semesters to accomplish your degree. Here 
here is a quick link if you want to take a picture of in-state and out-of-state tuition. Um, our undergraduate tuition is just over 11,000 for in-state and just over 16,000 for out-of-state. And then you would tack on your room and board. But one of the most exciting things that we have about tuition is something I'll tell you about in a second or something that we're rolling out for the second year in a row. Um, here's some information on scholarships. We have scholarships, obviously, just like every other school. But one thing that we do have is an honors college at Cleveland State that allows students that are admitted to the honors college to have full, completely covered in-state tuition and fees for freshmen. Um, and we also have honors college for transfer students. So the scholarship's a little different than that. It's on our website. Our two for one tuition promise, please remember Cleveland State University, if you start with us in the fall and you get at least a 2.75 GPA your first semester of freshman year, we will completely cover your tuition in the second semester of your freshman year. That's the second year we're doing it in response to some of the economics that we have. So this is our way of being able to support our students. So more information on our website, but we're very excited to offer the two for one. Here's how our complete application would consist of, just three pieces. And the third, which is the application fee, is actually a waiver right now. So we have a free application. You send in your official high school transcripts, and we are test optional for ACT and SAT. However, you're welcome to send those in. And transfer students, we would need your transfer uh, transcripts as well. As far as campus visits are concerned, these are all of our options. We do offer in-person campus tours. Uh, Monday through Friday. So we have three tours a day. You have to sign up in advance and take a wellness assessment to make sure that you maintain that safe campus. So we have in-person tours. We also have a variety of virtual visits as well. So virtual campus tours, tour guide led virtual tours. So students will actually take you around our virtual tour. You can also sign up on our website for an individualized admissions counselor appointment. Our admissions counselors meet daily with students on Zoom. If you don't want to come to campus and meet one on one, you can do it that way. And also please take advantage of our virtual tour as well. So you can find all of our visit opportunities at engagecsu.com slash visit. And contact information, you can reach us by phone, obviously. Here's our phone number. Um, and you can also send an email to us at admissions at csuohio.edu. We are very excited to be welcoming students on campus and we're excited to continue to be talking to students virtually as well. So please let us know if you have any questions and we would love to see you all on campus soon. Go Vikings. Awesome. Thank you so much. Just a reminder, if you have any questions for Cleveland State, please put it down in the Q&A. Also, please make sure that you are putting the university's title or name within your question. Otherwise, we won't know who the question goes to. Next up, we have Walsh University. Sorry, can you see the, the PowerPoint there? Yep, you're good to go, Craig, go ahead. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so my name is Craig Dougherty, um, admissions counselor here at Walsh University. Uh, class of 2015, and then I'm also studying for uh, the MBA currently, so I'll be a two-time graduate from Walsh here in May. Um, go a little quick through that. We do only have six minutes here. Um, so a little bit about Walsh. Uh, we're a small independent co-educational Catholic liberal arts institution in uh, Northeast Ohio, North Canton, Ohio here. Um, so you can see we um, are a Catholic university, but only about half of our students are Catholic. So we are open to uh, people of all faiths and all denominations. We offer over a hundred different majors and programs. So about 60 majors and then including minors, certificates, um, things like that. We do have over a hundred programs. And those all fall within the five schools and divisions that you see here, the School of Business, Arts and Sciences, Nursing, Education, and the School of Behavioral and Health Sciences. We have 
added 10 new majors as of last year. So this year um, was the first year we implemented some of these. So we added some that are increasing in the workforce, people that um, in fields that we, we currently need. So a lot of um, technology and healthcare based here. Uh, a couple, a few unique programs. I know, I think it was Ursuline that mentioned the three plus two engineering program with the University of Dayton. So we're also a part of that partnership. So that allows you to attend Walsh for three years and then go on to UD. And after five years, you would have a master's in engineering um, from the University of Dayton. Uh, but we also have a partnership with the University of Akron and University of Dayton and the Catholic University for um, legal studies to go on to law school. And then one, some that we have here at Walsh, a three plus three doctorate of physical therapy for people that are interested in physical therapy allows you to finish in six years as opposed to seven um, with your doctorate. Uh, the BA to MBA be five years to get your master's and then a BA to MA in counseling. Again, all those you're able to start taking some of your graduate courses during your fourth year of study uh, here at Walsh. So this year we also implemented uh, eight week academic terms. So we still are on semesters. However, it's more like block scheduling, I guess, if you're um, familiar with that in high schools where you would sign up for your 15 credits and then you might have um, nine of those credits in the first eight weeks and six credits the, the second eight weeks. And some of the benefits of that greater focus. So you're focusing on less classes at one time uh, flexibility, if you needed to load up on one eight weeks so you could work in another, or if you are a non-traditional student, uh, you can take eight weeks off without having to take off an entire semester, um, things like that. We also have a partnership with uh, Kent State University's U.S. Um, Air Force ROTC program. So with this, you would do all of your college schooling here at Walsh, but then you could travel the 25 to 30 minutes to Kent State to fulfill the ROTC requirements. Some quick facts about Walsh, 97% career placement. So within that six month period after graduation, 97% of people are either starting their career or getting into grad school. Uh, we have a 13 to one student to faculty ratio, 100% guaranteed internship, which is I think pretty unique and then also just huge right now because you'll look for a lot of jobs when you graduate that will say one to three years of experience needed. Well, you just graduated. How are you going to have that? So everybody is required to complete an internship while you're at school um, at Walsh so that you can get that experience when you're applying for that first job. And then 92% of graduates continuing their education attend their first choice of graduate school. So a higher percent get into grad school but that percentage gets into their first choice. Uh, we have a lot of different global learning experiences. I'm not gonna get into all of them just because of time, uh, but we do have some unique programs that can get, get you out of the country and get those experiences. Um, one of those is the Blue and Scholars program. So it's a service-based program, but comes with a $1,500 scholarship um, as well as a covered trip abroad. Our NCAA Division II and the GMAC with um, Ashland, Ursuline, and Lake Erie College that you'll hear from here next. Um, but we're in the same conference as them. So we are able to offer um, athletic scholarships. If you're not interested in competing at the NCAA level, we do have 22 different intramural leagues. Um, we also have the band and choir, some other talent-based programs that you can get into, um, and then the campus ministry um, is another big program that we have. We have a four-year guarantee, which is us guaranteeing that you will graduate in four years, as well as lock in your tuition for four years. If you do not graduate, then we are guaranteeing that we'll cover that extra semester, that extra year, whatever it takes for you to graduate. Uh, a couple of ways you can apply here, the traditional route or test optional with essays. Some scholar, the scholarship range, so a quick way to cut down the price is 12,000 to 18,000 for our academic scholarships. We also have other um, scholarships for Catholic high school, homeschooled, and then the talent-based band, choir, and athletics. Next would be to apply, and then make sure you put your questions for me in the Q&A.
Awesome. Thank you so much, Craig. If you have any questions for Walsh University, please feel free to put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, last but certainly not least, we have Lake Erie College. Hello. Let me get going here. Okay, so my name is Ashley. Um, I am the admission counseling team lead at Lake Erie College. So we're just gonna go over some basic information here. So first of all, uh, we're located in Painesville, Ohio, which is about 30 minutes east of Cleveland. Um, we were founded in 1856. So we're a relatively old college. Um, we were an all women's seminary back when we were founded. Uh, we introduced males into our population in actually the 1980s. So pretty recently considering um, the age of the school. Our student body is around 1,200 students. That does include our graduate students as well. So usually an undergraduate class is between 250 to 300 students. Our student to faculty ratio is 14 to one. And our average class sizes are about 15 students. Um, it's not uncommon, like some of these other schools we're talking about, um, to see classes actually even smaller than that. So our biggest classroom is gonna top out at around 35. Uh, but it's not uncommon to see a class of seven to 10 students. Um, about 78% of our students do live on campus. We have about 60 majors and minors. We are also part of the NCAA Division II uh, sports, and we have 19 of those sports. And something that is kind of unique to Lake Erie, we also have three riding teams. So anyone who's interested in equestrian um, has the ability to be on one of our riding teams as well. Uh, within about a mile of campus are all of these fun things. So Chipotle is always a good one. Um, students love being able to walk to Chipotle. Um, we also have historic Main Street, which is what this picture is of. Lots of local shops, coffee shops, things like that. So lots of fun things to do really close. Uh, we also have a couple different beaches within about 10 minutes of campus. We hang out at the beach. Uh, one is in Metro, one is in Fairport. Um, also within about 10 minutes is Target and Chick-fil-A. So like I said before, lots of things to do pretty close to campus. We are also about 30 minutes away from Cleveland. So here are some of the fun things to do in Cleveland. Everyone has kind of touched on it, so I won't go over them again. But um, West Side Market, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, all those fun things. Um, we have five separate schools um, under our college. So uh, the blue highlighted area is the school and then it shows all of the majors that are underneath that. So School of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, one of our most popular ones is biology. And as you can see, there are quite a few pre-professional tracks for that. Um, so pre-vet, pre-nursing, things like that. Uh, we also have a School of Business. So that is anything from accounting to human resources, marketing, um, sports management and sports studies are pretty popular ones these days as well. So that you would fit into that bubble if you were interested in those. Uh, we also have a School of Education and Professional Studies. That's everything from early childhood education to um, adolescent and young adults. We also have the School of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. That is a larger school, covers lots of topics and majors. Um, so everything from communication to dance, psychology, music, lots of things to get involved in um, if you're interested in any of those as a major. And then again, something that sets us apart we also have our School of Equine Studies. So there are not many um, colleges, especially in Ohio, but really nationally, that have uh, equine studies as a major that you can be involved in. We actually have quite a few of them. So facilities management, entrepreneurship, therapeutic horsemanship, um, you can actually have those as your major in college if those are things that you're interested in. Uh, we also have multiple graduate program. So we have our physician assistant program, our Parker MBA, so a Master of Business Administration. And then we have our um, MED as well, so a Master of Education. Something a little bit special about the MBA, uh, students who are interested in majoring in business can declare that before their senior year. Um, and then they can actually be part of the graduate program their senior year. So you would take graduate level courses your senior year, pay undergraduate prices for it, um, and you would graduate with an undergrad degree and a graduate degree in five years. So it kind of fast tracks everything um, and cuts out some, some of the expense as well. Um, so we do offer merit scholarships to all of our students coming in. That does include freshmen and transfer students. 
So here are the merit scholarships that we offer for freshmen. They range from $10,000 to $18,000. And this can be found on our website um, if you were more interested in seeing uh, kind of where you would fall when we're not trying to rush through things. Um, these are also for our transfer students. So those start at 8,000 and go to 14,000 for transfer students. Um, this talks a little bit about our application process. So it's pretty simple. Our application is completely free. You can do it online or we are part of the Common App as well. Um, we just need your application, high school transcripts, ACT or SAT scores. And then um, we do have the route for students to go test optional since testing was a little bit difficult this year. Um, the test optional uh, documents are on our website as well. Um, so you can check those out if that is something that you are interested in, but it's nothing too difficult. So once you send us those, we can usually get an admission decision within about a week for students. And here is our contact information. If anyone has questions, um, you can send it to our general admission email or I am on top. Um, so if you want to take a picture of this, send anyone an email you would like. Thank you guys all so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you so much. If you have any questions for Lake Erie College, please quickly put it down at the bottom. But my best advice since we are at the end of the session is to go ahead and follow up uh, with Ashley's email uh, or go to Lake Erie College's website because unfortunately we are at the end of our session tonight. So with that said, I do want to uh, invite our presenters uh, on video for this evening to collaborate and thank you for joining us. Uh, it was such a pleasure to learn about different institutions this evening, but also to have you all as attendees. So thank you all so, so much. Just some quick couple things before we truly bid farewell. Um, you will have a quick survey, four questions, really quick survey after you close this window. So as attendees, please make sure you give us some feedback. That would be fantastic. Also, although we don't have any more sessions for tonight necessarily for these college presentations, uh, Ohio ACAC will be having panels in about two weeks in which you can check out and register for on strivescan.com backslash Ohio. Also, last but not least, a recording of this will be available in about a week or so at the same page that you registered. Uh, you may have a friend that wants to check out these institutions, or you may just want to check out every single institution that we have a recording for, so please do. With that said, again, thank you all so much for joining us tonight, and if you are somewhere that is cold, please stay warm and stay safe. Have a great night, y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank Bye. You.